Welcome back to EA TV, and right now with us, Chief Operating Officer Peter Moore. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Yeah, we're Good. great. I mean, it's a pretty amazing atmosphere. We're like standing in an arena, 360 degrees of emotions. It's fabulous. It's pretty amazing. So, what is your impression of this year's uh, Gamescom? Well, this is the fifth year I've been coming to Gamescom, Leipzig, and then four years here in the beautiful city of Cologne. Uh, the, the booth, if we can describe it as that, is immense here. Yeah. Uh, two football fields, yeah. about 600 interactives. Um, this is unlike anything I've ever seen in my 15 years in this industry of a single company delivering so much interactivity. Of course, it's very exciting because of the next-gen consoles, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Couldn't be more proud of the team, couldn't be more proud of our development teams. It's a great time to be a part of EA. Now there's been discussions going on like almost forever. There's the E3 in, um, in Los Angeles, which is more press focused, they say. And there's the Gamescom here in Cologne, which is very customer focused. So what do you say? How is the Gamescom in comparison to the E3? Well, E3 is very important because of the timing. It's, it's a major calendar uh, uh, event on the development schedule. It's a big event because it's in Los Angeles and the media cover it. But there's nothing like Gamescom. E3 is about 45,000 people, members of the trade uh, and media. What we have here, not so much today, but as you know, tomorrow onwards, a massive humanity. Mm -hmm. All of our great customers come, they get their hands on the games. And there's a very different energy to Gamescom than there is to E3. So, and maybe one of these days in, at E3, we open it up to be a consumer show as well. So, who knows? But I think there's a lot of lessons to be learned here about how to bring excitement here. It's always exciting to be here. You know, there, there are a couple of games right now. We have Battlefield 4, we have Need for Speed, we have uh, FIFA 14, but which is your favorite game oh, here at the Gamescom? They're and tell all, me why. They're all my Can, favorites. <laughs> is, it so, is there no game, would you say, like, well, I love this one the most? No, I mean, they're very important. Battlefield is an incredibly important game. You know, I'm responsible for all the revenue in this company, so I look at Battlefield, <laughs> and I look at FIFA, yeah. and I say, there's about 80% of the revenue right there. All right. But then, Titanfall, Need for Speed, great franchises, The Sims 4 Sims, over here. Yeah. Very important part, when I, when, I look at, when, I, when I look here from this perspective, I'm incredibly proud of what we do at EA. These are some of the biggest franchises in video games, all together in one place. And we're celebrating it. Yeah, <laughs> every day for the next days. 2013, this is also the big year of transition. Microsoft yep. and Sony are coming up with new consoles. Yep. So this is like a, a next generation of playing. How does uh, Electronic Arts adapt to that? Well, again, you look at the franchises we have. One of the things that we've done brilliantly over the last two years, we've gotten our teams ready to be uh, in position for this franchise uh, and transition here. Our game engines, EA Sports Ignite, Frostbite 3, which you see on Battlefield 4, these are true next generational engines. And so what we've invested in over the last two years in people, in engineering talent, the marketing that we're going to put behind this entire portfolio game, we will be the dominant third-party publisher on both of these platforms. Sounds quite good. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. So, um, you know, besides having new consoles this year, um, the mobile uh, gaming oh, is yeah. getting more and more important. Can you tell us a little bit more about the EA strategy behind this uh, kind of new wave, the new uh, mobile business? When you've got great brands like these, in particular when you've got sports brands, you've got the, the shooter brands, you've got the driving brands, you need to do more than just put them on a console or put them on a PC. So, and then you add in brands that, that are very, very unique. The Simpsons, yeah. Real Racing 3, which is a mobile-only brand. <clears throat> More recently, Plants vs. Zombies 2, which came out last week. Already 16 million people have downloaded in Woo! less than a week. 25 million hours of gameplay already. So, wow. from that perspective, bringing our existing brands and new brands to mobile, which are a very large part of our business, it just lets people play 24 hours a day. You've got your phone with you all the time, you've got three minute break, let's go play again. That's how it is. Well, don't forget eating then. Um, so when you look at like all the time you've been working in this business, you said 15 years in your yeah. position, and I think way more than that. When, honestly, was the last time where you looked at a video game and you've been blown away? Like, wow, I, I've never seen that in a video game before. Does this still happen? Yeah, I mean, 
Titanfall is one good example here where um, we had not seen builds of Titanfall until about two or three weeks before E3. So one unexpected surprise and pleasure was to see an innovative game. It's not that we didn't expect that from Respawn Entertainment, but we just hadn't seen anything, and boy, it blew us away. And that game in particular, brand new intellectual property at a perfect time when new consoles are launching, was exciting for us. I mean, I love FIFA. I'm from Liverpool in England. <laughs> I'm, I'm a football fan. FIFA delivers, and that is a franchise that has brought more and more consumers in over the last three or four years. And we, three, four years ago, we were in a dogfight with Pro Evolution Soccer. <laughs> and the FIFA team in, in Vancouver in Canada have done a brilliant job. You look about Need for Speed, and every time I look at, are they real cars or are they video game cars? Yeah, it's, and, and it's just been, it's uh, so their game is incredible. So, but Titanfall blew me away when I saw it. I'm but very excited for it's that. It's very, very good to know that you're still blown away by your game. Absolutely. <laughs> if you can't have passion for this industry, then you don't belong in the industry. <laughs> That's true. So it's pretty amazing to have you here. Thank you very much.